dude it was like it was like it was meant to be Today on Cars and Cameras, we're reviving a big block generator swapped racing cart. So this is Charles's personal go-kart, and it had been sitting for a few months before he brought it out here and uh, thrashed it in the dust bowl, and it kind of got a couple of injuries during the dust bowl. Yeah. This thing I've had for about four years, it's, uh, it's a generator engine, it's a neighbor gave it to me. We, uh, we realized that the generator part didn't work, we separated it, had a really weird crankshaft. So inspired by cars and cameras, I had the crankshaft turned down uh, and tapped. The engine, uh, I know it says five horse, but don't don't let that fool you. It is a, I think it's a 342 cc uh, overhead valve. It's a racing cart, but I've used it as a yard cart forever. I mean, as you can see, look, the tachometer, it's got 72 hours. I've literally raced this, like I've been in this seat for three days racing it. So, uh, we're doing a little bit of maintenance, doing a little bit of performance in today's episode. I'm gonna be building a new header with an RLV muffler from Go Power Sports for better flow. Charles is gonna be installing a new pool cover. Uh, we need to make some modifications to the fuel tank and it needs an oil change. Charles said he's been beating up on it for four years. It's time for some TLC, then we're gonna hit the track. Things are coming along swimmingly on Charles's big block race cart. Almost everything is done, oil has been changed, Charles has been building an exhaust. It looks like an early Cars and Cameras build. We won't shine a flat, okay, maybe yeah, we we're, we're Anyway. I didn't do that, I let a friend borrow this for a little while and he said, I fixed your header, don't worry. <laughs> He's still a good friend, he fixed it for me. I'm not talking bad about it. So anyway, we have less obstruction, much larger diameter tube, and a high flow muffler, RLV unit from GoPowerSports.com. Uh, we love these things. They quiet down a performance engine uh, a little bit. They don't make it quiet, but it's gonna take the, uh, the harshness out of the sound. Also, the header sleeve from Go Power Sports we're gonna throw on here too. You're still gonna get burned, but it takes the sizzle out of touching a header. I love those things. So, the last piece of the puzzle is the flange. I fired up the uh, Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro. I built a flange in Fusion, and I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna make five of them just so we have some for the future. We're gonna weld it all up and install it. Here we go. You can get $100 off a Langmuir Systems Crossfire or a Crossfire Pro using our special Cars and Cameras discount code. You can find a link to it in the description. I love this tool, man. Makes hard jobs easy and cleaner. And did you notice how quickly you were able to handle those? Yep. Like actually bare hand them? If you, even a cut, even a cutting wheel, they'd yep. it'd be Lucifer. It was not cold, but uh, much cooler than if you cut it with a cutoff wheel. Let's uh, tack up this exhaust. We got this precision cut flange, and I got this piece of inch and a quarter tubing. I'm gonna kind of balance it in between the two mounting holes and point it towards the ground and give it a tack. What do you say? Sounds great, man. All right. Go. How are we looking, man? Well, I'm ready. I'm, I'm about ready to hear this thing fire up with a new exhaust for the first time because I've had that band-aided exhaust for a long time. And I've burnt my arm so many times on it. So I'm excited to try this thing.
Perfection. All the modifications to the go-kart are done. It rained today, so the track is gonna be nice and sticky tomorrow. We'll see you then for some hot laps. Dude, it was like, it was like it was meant to be. And if we use the stand and ratchet straps, we can take two. Don't flip it. So, we're both gonna get some warm up laps and then I wanna see who the better circle track driver is. So Charles is gonna warm up, I'm gonna warm up, and uh, then we're gonna do some timed laps. What do you wanna do, timed five laps? Yeah, that sounds good. See who good. the faster driver is? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do some warm ups and get to it. There we go, got some fuel going. It's a good thing you quit because I was getting dizzy, buddy. <laughs> I think it needs uh, carburetor work. Carburetor work. Absolutely. What do you say, man? It's weird. It it runs bad if the fuel is on, but when you switch the fuel up, it clears up. Oh yeah. And you get a couple of good laps, and then it breaks up because it's dying, and then you turn the fuel back on, and it runs like doo doo again, and then you turn it off, and it runs good. I just need to butt in here and say thank you for your overwhelming support on our Sidewinder logos that we made. We uh, originally wanted to sell 30 of them and then they were gone in less than an hour. So we bumped it up to 100 and those, those were gone in about 18 hours. So Charles is Crazy. really busy this morning cutting out the, uh, the rest of our Sidewinders. We're gonna do more in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks again for your support guys. We're building a new building. So uh, this is definitely gonna help with those expenses. Hey, bottle opener. It does work as a bottle opener. Yeah, I, bottle I tried opener. it this morning. Here's a sneak peek on the brand new shop. Uh, of course, there are two days left to enter our Go Power Sports Rascal Mini Bike Kit giveaway. All orders on our website get you automatically entered to win. And to commemorate our brand new shop, I've put our collectible pins on sale for two days only. So if you want to help support us and also get entered to win a killer mini bike kit, now's the perfect time. The giveaway ends this Thursday at midnight. So Charles just got the carburetor off the go-kart and he's cleaning it off and going to drop the bowl. always hate turning them upside down why is that because if there's any the garbage yeah if there's any debris in there you just kind of slosh it everywhere any debra yeah goodness gracious man do you think you over tightened I it think buddy? i over torqued that one i've never uh, had one of these uh big big block brigs carburetors apart they're, i imagine they're not a whole lot different uh well 
just wait. Well, it has an O-ring gasket. Whoa. Yeah. It's, All right. It's a very it's it's a very unique carburetor. That is, that is hard cool. to modify. The jet is actually in this plastic right here. Seriously? There there's the jet right there. Molded in. Mm -hmm. So if you want to modify it, you have to use the 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 Makuni? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit up Go Power Sports. <laughs> and we, can make, we can make a bracket. Oh, there is some gunk in there though. Definitely. Even with a fuel filter. Yes, yeah, there's there. some definite garbage in there. It's the dark stuff. It's it's kind of gritty, a lot gritty actually. All right. Well, we'll get that thing uh, cleaned out and blown out in no time. Most oh sure. man, you got a busted yeah. gasket. I'm hoping that doesn't plague us, but that might do it. Yep. All right. Well, good luck there, buddy. As you can tell. We couldn't get the... It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't fix uh, it. Now, you do have a busted gasket uh, in that carburetor. Yeah. And uh, it looked kind of important to me. Absolutely. So, uh, what are we going with now? Well, we're going to try out... Turns out one of uh, John's cut flanges for exhaust works for the, the intake side as well. Found some tubing in the scrap bin. I think we're going to try and put a 24-millimeter uh, slide... Makuni. Makuni from Go Power Sports. Of course, I'm going to shorten this up a little bit, but we're going to decide whether or not we want it just straight back like that. I or think it's, nah, I think it's good. I think straight's just fine with yep. me. Um, then just easy as uh, look, hooking up the linkage and throttle cable and stuff like that, and hopefully it'll be a test. All right. Let's uh, weld that thing up. Yes, sir. Cover. Yeah. Got her? Squeeze it, yeah, and then we'll weld it up after we. That looks like an intake manifold. Yes, sir, it is. Yeah, and you know if we used one of the flanges that you cut out yesterday. Worked perfectly. Big block stuff, you know. All right, now that that's pretty much mocked up, we're gonna run the throttle cable. All right, so you've never done one of these flat slides. No, I haven't. All right, well, you, you're doing a good job so far. It's just removing the two Phillips screws. There is a spring in there. Oh, yeah, I'm holding it down. That uh, top will take off to the moon if you're not careful. Yes, absolutely. Sometimes those uh, gaskets are stuck. And oh, you'll the, go to, these, yeah, oh, yeah. paper ones? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to run the, the lid on that cable, yes, then the, yes, the then, yellow, then then the yellow piece. spring... And the yellow piece, and then the the flat slide. Okay. Yeah, you got it. And the plastic actually keeps the cable in. Yes, that's, what that's that right. Little, that's what that little tall piece. Yep. Is I've. And uh. And now, now, now you just drop her back in the hole, and that flat slide only fits in one way. And you're you're right. I can tell. Right yeah. It's because of. The, let's see. That she little that in. little ear yep. right there. Yep. Then you put the two Phillips screws in, and and you're done there. And all you gotta do is go to the other side. Easy peasy. Not too bad. I sure do hope this thing works. It has let me down. Well, I lo I love Briggs and Stratton. Yeah, I, this, I'm. This one, I mean, I have. I I feel like it was a carburetor, which yeah. I wouldn't put the blame on the Briggs. No, no. But no. we are gonna find out here shortly because. You know, Absolutely. that's a brand new 28 millimeter flat slide. Now the uh, PS de Restance <laughs> is the uh, coat, hanger. coat hanger throttle, yeah. which I've done a many a time in my lifetime. Yeah, you want to be careful with this. It'll, it'll hang you up. Ah, I got it. All right, so look down the throttle. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to hit the uh, pedal. Oh, we got all, we got W-O, or yeah, W-O-G. If, if not, then close, right? Yep, all the way close. Yep. all the way close. All right. Well, I think, uh. I guess a test fire is in order. Yeah, we can try it without the filter, yes. just to see. Oh, it's, it's already at the carburetor. Ah, but you forgot the choke.
Probably gonna have to play with the idle and stuff. Man, you might have to crack the throttle on it, buddy. Sounds pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Just make sure it doesn't change. Ah, right. good. Good, bud. Good for a test. Kill switch still works. Very important. Well, that's good. It's kind of hard to reach, but if you can keep right. your hand right, I mean. Oh, yeah. So, uh, get that uh, clamp on, get the filter, and uh, John, y'all gonna be ready for a test drive? Oh, more than ready, dude. All right, so we'll see you guys at the track. better now. Like it's fixed. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say it has more power. All right, I gotta say this thing sounds pretty nasty. I think the carburetor trick worked and uh John is feeling pretty good about it. He's going straight into the five hot laps. He's not even messing around with any practice laps. So, uh, my money's on Charles. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Go. All right, you want to do the three, two, one, go. All right, all right. All right. I'm ready. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's embarrassing. The time is still Clock ticking, is John. Ticking. No, Charles, how about cranking them up, man? Hey, I got one. All right, take three. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. What's his time, sir? 10376. That's not bad. All right, make me cool. proud, buddy. I'll, I'll give it my best. All right, dude. I know what to do with my hands. All right. <laughs> yep. Along the way. That's all right, uphill. Don't worry. Look at it. Oh, Big block power. Want to be free. <laughs> I was pretty sloppy, but it was fun. Oh, yeah, it's not very too bad. Dry. Charles is a good racer, man. He's about to take my lunch money. I can feel it. You, you can really. Oh yeah. Are you ready, sir? Yep. On your mark. Get set. Go. He's moving. He's moving. Oh, it's all right, man. I got a laugh of dirt. Man. That's, if, as long as the camera was rolling, that's good. We got to adjust that uh, oh, load right. or something. All right. Go ahead and kill it, man. Yeah. Uh, does it have more power or is that just me? It definitely feels like it has more power. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 5,200 5, RPM max. Yep. Would y'all like to know y'all's time? Oh, it's. I, I feel like it's going to be close. I feel like I was a little bit sloppy. Eh, I, don't know. I was sloppier. <laughs> so, yes, that was uh, really close. Was it really? 
It really was. Well, that, ma that makes me feel good. Okay. <laughs> um, the little secret is I had my money on Charles. Right. Now, the question is, did I pick the correct person? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, Charles sure does make it look good, I can tell you that. Yes, he he was, uh, yep. working them. Fast. Yeah, yeah. He's smooth. You were... Not well, you were you. <laughs> All right. So, John's time was one. Okay. O. Okay. Three. Nice. Seventy-six. Dang. All right. Almost called it. Sweet. Not bad. Yep. You almost called it. I said sixty, sixty-five, didn't I? Yeah, five laps. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. It under yes. a minute. I heard that, sixty. That might be a good. All right. So, point. Charles. What so, uh, say? Charles's lap was a one. O. Oh snap. Four flat. Oh. <laughs> like like awesome. point slow isn't two. Fa slow isn't fast. My man, today. Today, brother. Point two four seconds faster. Point two four. Point two four Shaky seconds eight. faster. Right. Now we eight. need another one. Yeah, we need to be teammates. So uh, that was close, guys. That's pretty good. I'm surprised, man. Cause yeah, you you look good on that thing, Charles. I know he was making it look so good, yeah, and I, I just knew. I just knew. Charles I guess right. Yeah. I knew I was I mean, you were right. He was, dude, he was so, oh, I gosh, know. he was right there. I know. That's all right. <laughs> if I hadn't so. have stuffed it and literally almost based, it that was pretty been much it, a man. full e-brake when it. I hit that. So it, that might have shaved off a full second. So that time. was good. Um, so now it's my turn. Absolute. Really? No. Do you want to put it in the back of the K truck and then put you in the seat? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Because we all know that it would be slower. <laughs> Just trying to be accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I think maybe that K truck can make it around in two minutes. Yeah. Five sure. laps. You want to drive Is it? that a challenge? No, let's not roll the K truck. <laughs> That's, yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. We uh, got a set of matched tires on it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, congratulations, John. Thanks, man. You are the wiener. Yep. And I, well, I'm not going to talk about how I cheated this time. I'm going to keep that to myself. Thanks for tuning into this episode, everybody. We uh, brought back Charles's racing go kart, made it uh, perform a little bit better too. Absolutely. I've uh, got to thank GoPowerSwords.com for the uh, high flow racing muffler and for the 28 millimeter carburetor and air filter. And the air filter, it's breathing better. I think it's making more power. The butt dyno's telling me that anyway. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, go to our website, cars-cameras.com, pick up Mini Mayhem. We're phasing out this style right here, so if you want to get one, now's your chance. Also, we have channel memberships. You can join the Cars and Cameras pit crew or the Cars and Cameras crew chiefs, uh, and you can get uh, special perks. So the crew chiefs, we just launched it. They get special behind-the-scenes videos. We have two up there so far. We built a watering system for this racetrack and uh, pit interviews by Isaac from uh, everyone from the Dust Bowl series. So check that out and uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Now this cheating that you were talking about, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm yanking your chain. <laughs> are you really? Yeah. Hey Charles! <laughs>